Hello, my name's Auntie Karen, and I'm here today to read you a story I wrote called I Miss Grandpa. This is a story about Stevie, and Stevie loved his grandpa very much. But one day, something really sad happened, and that's what we're going to hear about right now. Stevie was excited. He loved going to Grandma and Grandpa's house. His mum and dad were going to go away for the weekend, so Stevie and Grandpa would have the whole farm to themselves. Grandpa let Stevie feed the chickens and lambs and ride on the tractor. On Sabbath, Grandma and Grandpa took him to their tiny little church. There was only one other boy there about Stevie's age. His name was Jason. And the best part was a little old lady who always had treats hiding in her big black purse for any boy who could answer a Bible question. For Sunday lunch, Grandma let Stevie make ice cream the old-fashioned way with her ancient ice cream maker. They made it with lots of ice and cream from the farm cows and fruit from the freezer. Grandpa had a nap on Sunday afternoon. I guess this side of heaven I'm still going to need my beauty sleep, he said before he settled down. Stevie liked the way the sun shone on Grandpa's shiny old bald head and sparkled in his silvery whiskers. Stevie let him rest and he went to the garden to see Grandma. Soon Stevie found caterpillars in Grandma's garden, creeping about and eating leaves. Grandma showed him a caterpillar turning into a chrysalis, wrapping itself up in sticky thread. Then they found another chrysalis, all finished and hanging on a leaf. Grandma brought out a jar to put the chrysalis and some leaves in so Stevie could take the chrysalis home. The chrysalis will turn into a butterfly in a little while, Grandma promised. Stevie tried to understand how a caterpillar, a chrysalis and a butterfly were the same creature. How could they be when they all looked so different? The chrysalis looked like a dried up old leaf. Stevie felt sure it was dead, but he didn't want to disappoint Grandma by telling her so. When his mum and dad came to fetch him, Stevie was tired but very happy. Next time I'll take you swimming in the river, Grandpa yelled as they drove away waving. Stevie fell asleep in the car on the way home holding the jar with his chrysalis inside. He was dreaming of riding on his very own tractor. A few days later, Stevie watched with his mum as the chrysalis began to wriggle and split. They took the leaves out of the jar and put them in the garden. And then they sat and watched for a long time while that ugly little brown package opened and the butterfly wriggled and squirmed and pulled its wet crumpled wings out of it. The butterfly sat still for a long time on the leaves until its wings were dry and could open up. And then Stevie saw all the pretty colours in the wings. He watched as the butterfly spread the wings out wide and it flew into the sky for the first time. Stevie thought it was like watching a miracle. He imagined how much fun he could have as a butterfly, much more fun than creeping about like a caterpillar eating leaves. Stevie saved the dried up chrysalis skin. It was ugly, but it was kind of interesting. So he put it in his treasure box with an old bird's nest and his special stone collection. A couple of weeks later, Stevie's dad got a phone call. When he put the phone down, dad was crying real tears. Stevie had never seen his father cry before. Dad sat in his favourite big chair and he sobbed and sobbed. Mum came over and hugged him and Stevie patted his back because he didn't know what else to do. And after a little while, Dad pulled Stevie onto his lap and put his arm around Mum, and they all had a big hug together. Bit by bit, Dad's sobbing became quieter, and then he gently explained what had happened. Grandpa had been driving the tractor out on the farm when he had had a heart attack. Having a heart attack means the heart gets sick and doesn't work properly anymore. And sometimes when people have a heart attack, they can die. And Grandpa had died right out there on the farm. Grandma missed him when he didn't come in for supper, and that's when she went to look for him. And now Stevie cried and cried and cried. He loved Grandpa. They'd had so much fun together, and he would miss him. Grandpa had promised to take him swimming in the river next time he visited. Now he couldn't do that. Grandpa had said he would teach him how to drive the tractor when he was big enough. Now he wouldn't be able to do that either. And most of all, Stevie would miss Grandpa just because he was his friendly, huggy, happy old grandpa. Stevie would miss the smell of his farm clothes and the tickle of his whiskery beard. And he would miss the way the sun shone on grandpa's shiny head. 
That night, as he got into bed, Stevie asked his mum what it was like to die. Mum thought for a long while, and then she said, Well, Stevie, death is a difficult thing to understand and talk about, but it's a bit like this. On this earth, we're like the caterpillars you found. We can do lots of exciting things, but not all the exciting things God wanted us to do. And since sin came into the world, our bodies here don't last very long. Everyone gets ill and worn out and eventually dies. It's sad when people die, because we miss them lots and lots and it hurts inside. But for people who love Jesus, like your grandpa, dying is not the end of the story. Next week, we will go to grandpa's funeral and grandpa will be buried in the ground. And I suppose that is a bit like when the caterpillar turns into a chrysalis. The caterpillar sleeps and doesn't know what's happening. And death is something like when you're asleep and you don't dream or know anything at all. But one day, when Jesus comes back, he will take all the dead chrysalis sort of bodies including grandpas, and wake them all up and change them into something totally different and amazing, something far more wonderful than we can imagine. We will be beautiful and strong and we will we'll be able to fly and we'll never be sad or sick again and we'll live forever. The caterpillar in the chrysalis had to wait a while before it could be changed into a butterfly and we don't know how long it will be before Jesus comes again, but we know that he will and then grandpa will be strong and he'll probably get all his hair back again, too. And I guess that one of the first things that Grandpa will want to do in heaven is to find you and take you swimming in a crystal clear river, just like he promised when you last saw him. So Grandpa will remember me and I'll recognize him, even with lots of hair and whiskers, Stevie asked. Yes, and he'll recognize you even if you are quite grown up. With our new bodies, Jesus will also give us back our special memories, although we'll have different sorts of bodies. We will still be just us. I want to remember Grandpa in a special way, Mum. Can I make like a book or something and put pictures of me and him in there? Could you write out some stories for me of the things Grandpa and I did together? And I want to stick that bit of chrysalis in there as well to remind me that one day Grandpa won't be dead anymore, but he'll be able to fly around like that butterfly. And the best thing I want to put in there is a picture I want to draw of me and him swimming together in that river in heaven. Stevie felt sad at Grandpa's funeral. It was sad to say goodbye. Stevie cried a lot. Even after that, when he thought of Grandpa, he sometimes cried a bit too. But when he felt sad, he went to look at his special Grandpa and Stevie book, and he touched the chrysalis and remembered the butterfly flying away so beautifully. And then he thought of swimming in that river in heaven with Grandpa, splashing and laughing, and soon the smile came back to his face again. <laughs>